What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to go over what I keep in my September surf bag. Now the surf bag I'm using is the Surfrite Supreme. I'll put links to as much of the gear as I can in the description below. I keep on it 20 pound, 30 pound, and 40 pound fluorocarbon. And I just have the usual tools, fish grips, pliers, and a knife. I often do some spontaneous bunker chunking, uh, you know, in the fall. Uh, so I always keep what I'll need for that in here. It's just a circle hook with a 60 pound leader fish finder rig, and a weight, and keep this in the pocket. I also keep a rig that's already set up for a teaser. The normal uh, leader I use doesn't have a teaser, you know, a dropper loop for a teaser, but sometimes I just want to fish that open surf with a diamond jig and a teaser. So I always keep this so I can just easily switch off my normal leader to this. Just some extra TACs and barrel swivels in case I need to make a leader on the spot. And five inch split tail fat cow jig strips, just so I can put them as, as a trailer on my bucktails. Now, although it's coming to the end of fluke season, I do do the majority of my fluke fishing in the South Shore inlets when they're staging up for their offshore migration, so I definitely keep a thing of gulp with me. I always keep a treble hook in case I need to snag some bunker on the spot. Now, one of the big differences between the spring months and September is that pelagics are around still all throughout September. Spanish mackerel, bonito, and albies. So I definitely keep a lot of uh, tins, small tins and epoxy jigs. You know, just for all those uh, pelagics in addition to my striped bass and bluefish lures. Now, the most exciting part about September is the beginning of the fall striped bass run. Now, one of the differences between the spring run and the fall run is that they're feeding on sand eels, which, which means there's a great bite for them in the ocean surf during the day on diamond jigs, which imitate sand eels. So I definitely keep a lot of these. It's the easiest, probably the easiest way to catch striped bass on the island. So definitely keep a lot of these and you can just fish them with a teaser, without a teaser. Uh, but this is a great easy way to just catch striped bass during September. Now in September, I'm also going to do a lot of night fishing for striped bass and bluefish uh, from the North Shore and the South Shore. So I'm just going to keep all my normal nighttime culprits. The Tsunami Sand Eel is great at night. You know, the small bl blurple Mag Darter, the small blurple SP Minnow, uh, Neil here, and of course the yellow Super Strike Darter. Also, you got to have your soft plastics for striped bass on particularly the North Shore, but also the South Shore too. So I have a variety of them. I really like these Storm uh, Pearl Colored Swim Shads. I got 4 inch and 5 inch ones, uh, Finback Shad, and then this really heavy Tsunami one for the inlets. Actually, this one's not doing so well, but uh, Bluefish got at it. But yeah, these are great. Very versatile. Important to have in the box. I always keep a couple swimming plugs that I particularly use during the day. Got an SP minnow in the sardine color, love that one. Small crystal minnow, great on the north shore uh, to imitate a peanut bunker. And then a mag darter in the wonder bread color. I always keep a couple topwater plugs even though I don't fish topwater as much as I should. A tsunami talking popper, super strike little neck popper, and I forget the name of this one but I've done well on the north shore with this guy. And then bucktails. I always keep a lot of bucktails. Again, probably don't fish them as much as I should. I'm going to try to do that more this year, but I keep, you know, various different types, different colors, and then different weights from 3 8 ounce all the way up to 2 ounce. So very important to keep your bucktails for all the variety of different uh, conditions. And yeah, that's my surf bag for September. September's kind of a tough month. It's an interesting month. It's a transition period from summer into fall. Um, but it starts to build up to the great fishing that we have in October, especially toward the end of September, you know, where the striped bass and bluefish really come back strong. And then you still have the pelagics hanging around too. So it's definitely a fun month to get out there and start fishing. And sometimes you'll find, you know, there can be a really good bass bite before, you know, the crowds come and then all the hype of the fall run starts. You know, the fall run really starts in like late August. Um, early September. So it's definitely a good month. Gotta fish it. And uh, this is what I keep in my bag.